Welcome back everyone. We're going to be kind of going over an example for one of our projects here. And what we're going to do is we are going to be making a Facebook page for our uh, social media our social media page for our women's rights activists. And for our example, the person we're going to be going with is Susan B. Anthony. Okay. Now, once you've picked the person, remember it's important that you pick the right Oh, let's see where is that? The right on step two organizer. Okay. And I open up that organizer and I filled it out. If you haven't got your organizer done yet, then you need to stop the video, finish that first, and then come back and finish the video because we're going to, we're basing this on it being filled out. Okay. So I've got this. I got Susan B. Anthony. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this direction page now. And if I'm doing Facebook, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to make a copy of it. Okay. Now, so I'll need to open that up. It looks like this, and I'm going to make a copy, and I'm just going to title it uh, Women Rights Activist Social Media Page. And now I'm going to go to my organizer, and I'm going to copy my person's name. And I'm just going to hop over here to the project as it loads. And where it says character name, I'm now going to go through, and I I'm going to change all the character names for these posts to uh, Susan B. Anthony. Okay. Don't change where your friends are at because that'll be what you're going to do is different. So we'll just change all these to Susan B. Anthony just as soon as my Chromebook is finished loading. Okay. The main thing you're going to learn from this video is that every single thing you need is in the your organizer already so most of this should be pretty um, basic for you okay don't change these because these are going to be where your friends are going to make some wall posts okay but kind of change all the other ones to susan b anthony or whoever your person is okay the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add my location okay and looks like my location is adams massachusetts i'm going to copy that Hop over here and where it says location, I'm going to hopefully be able to add that. Okay. And there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to hop over to occupation. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in my about me section there. Okay. Now, one of the things that might happen is some of these things might get moved around a little bit funky, which we're kind of noticing. I'm now going to add the other part of my about me to this same section, okay? And again, you'll notice it's getting really, really kind of sloppy um, to where the template's kind of getting messed up. So the way to fix that is you're just going to kind of change your font size to something that will work a little bit better for you. And if you need to stretch a box out or something, by all means, go ahead and do that, all right? So... There we go. We got that information there. Then you'll remember you made a couple sections here about friends. So I'm just going to do one of these as an example. All right. And I'm going to say Elizabeth Katie Stanton is going to be the friend that I'm going to choose. Hop to my character name here. And I'm going to put Elizabeth Katie Stanton. Now these ones where there's kind of the blue font, um, you're going to want to kind of leave those and have to type those in by hand so you don't kind of lose the formatting and whatnot, okay? So I've got that. Another section I've got is my sponsor. So I got the Women's New York Temperance Society. I've got that. I'm going to hop over here to my sponsored section. I'm going to pop that in, okay? And then I got my wall post, Okay. So here's, I'm going to, and we're going to do one wall post together. Okay. So I got this, copy that, and we're going to pop that in right here. Okay. So that's where that's going to go. Okay. Now, and again, if you get a bullet or something, maybe you'll have to do a little tweak into the formatting or so, but kind of keep it looking nice. If you need to change the fonts, that's right. Eventually I'll have all this text filled out, but for our video, I kind of want to skip ahead. And so I need to now add pictures. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll go to Susan B. Anthony. I'm going to search for images. I'm going to pick one that I like. We'll go with this one. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to hop over here. 
and I'm going to try and paste it as close as I can to where I want it to go. Then I'll drag it, and to make it look accurate, like a real Facebook page, we're going to kind of try and get it to fit into our boxes as close as we can. Things won't always be perfect, but we'll do that. Then I also need to add the same picture to anywhere else I'm mentioning her. So paste the same picture on down. We're going to make it real, real small here. And then we're going to put that uh, in that box there. Okay. And you kind of get the idea there. So that's upside down, but obviously yours won't be. And then we'll just paste that and put it in any boxes you would have put Susan B. Anthony by. Okay. So let's say this is another post by Susan B. Anthony. We'll put that one there. Okay. We'll repeat the same process for all of our friends, so like Elizabeth Katie Stanton. I want to find a picture for her. And something that you can do here is obviously they'll have the different ones. If you want to go to more, hopefully. No. Okay. Well, we don't I don't I forgot to do the finding a small one, but we'll pick any picture we want. We'll copy that. We'll hop over to our project and we will paste it. So basically you're just making all the pictures small enough to fit into the boxes our template has for you. You're doing that. And then you're going to add all your posts, all your comments, and you'll be done with it. So try and make it look good. Change the fonts as you need to, and you'll be in just fine shape.